ladies, nobody is fighting you, okay? Chill, take a chill pill and work on your life. Greetings, beautiful people. This is Glory Food, aka Miss Incredible. I am a TV and radio personality. I am a voiceover artist and an MC. So, um, today I want to talk to the ladies out there about a certain level of bitterness I have noticed. A certain level of insecurity, as I will call it for the purpose of this video. Okay, there's so many ladies out there who think that people are fighting them or people are against them. I'll tell you, science, I, call, I want to call these, these people witches and wizards, these ladies witches. Because, um... How are you going to know that these people are like this? You check on their status updates, they are always fighting. They're always defending themselves. They're always trying to, I don't care about what people say about me. I don't care if you love me or not. I'm my own, I'm, my, I, I, I'm a queen in my kingdom. I'm a this, I'm a that, I don't care. Yeah, that's the first sign of them. The second sign is you're going to see them posting things like, like, if you, if you support me or not, I'm going to make it in life. You do this for me, you don't do that. Bad friends here, bad friends that, yeah, those are the kind of people. So the question is, it really, it really gets me baffled because if you are not a bitter person, why would you easily notice bitter people around you? If you're not a fighter, why do you always feel like people are fi people are fighting you or, pe or people are against you? Your friends are jealous of you. Your friends don't want you to prosper. They don't want you to succeed. Why do you Why do you feel that way, ladies? This is terrible. This is a very very poor energy. From what I, from the studies I have been making and from my observation, you attract the things that come to you. It's even said in the Bible: "As a man thinketh, so he is." So the moment you keep focusing all your energy, the moment you keep focusing your time, your, your resources on thinking that people are hating you, people are fighting you, people are against you, trust me, you attract these things to yourself. The moment you keep trying to justify every, every action of yours, there's just no way you're going to make it. Because you have the, the energy you have is for you to build yourself. And it's not for you to be, to be fighting people or defending yourself here and there. Yes, you, we don't care. you don't care what people think about you. We know about that. So what? What next? Who asked you? Who asked you the question? No one. But you just feel like, you just feel insecure with the people around you. You just feel like people are, are, are hating on you. People are doing this to you. People are doing that to you. The funniest thing is that when you look at the people who are doing this, this, this you see people who speak like this, you look at them very well. You see that they are, let me call them nothing. You see that they have nothing to offer. But they keep feeling like people are fighting them or people are attacking them. No one is attacking you, sister. Nobody is attacking you. You're just feeling insecure, just feeling threatened by other people's progress. Oh, most at times you do this because you're trying to cover up your arrogance or, or you're trying to cover up uh, a shortcoming in your life. Yeah, I can really relate to this because there was a point in my life when, when I was trying to when I was trying to shift from a shy girl to a self-confident person. You know, at times you, you just want to, you want to assert yourself. You want to feel like, okay, I can do this because I'm bold. I can do this because I'm strong. I can really, really relate to this because like I said earlier, when I was shifting from a shy girl, if Oh, my friends who know me before, they're very surprised to see me talking now. They're very surprised to see me on, on, on camera every day. Because I used to be very shy. And then, when I decided, okay, I want, I want to move, I don't want to be shy anymore, I want to be bold. There was a point I found myself saying this kind of things, like, I don't care what people think about me. When you do this, you, it's because you're trying to cover something, you're trying to cover a, a, a gap. And that is why so many ladies out there are falling in, falling in this trap. Thank God I got out of it. So I want to understand with you if you feel like you're trying to cover up by saying you're, you're, you're confident and whatsoever. I want to understand with you. But you should know that there's a huge difference between self-confidence and arrogance. A self-confident person accepts, admits when they go wrong and they apologize. It doesn't matter who they wrong. It doesn't matter how it happens. They apologize because they know that nobody is perfect. A self-confident person 
knows how to speak to people, how to address people. A self-confidence person knows that as long as, so long as I value myself, other people are, are to be valued as well. As long as I want to assert myself, other people want to, want to assert themselves as well. So they don't get in people's way. You don't, you don't get in people's way. You don't step on people's toes. You don't get on your nerves when you're trying to assert yourself. It doesn't work that way. But when we're talking about someone who is self-confident, self we're talking about someone who accepts all of this and knows that I am infallible, nobody is perfect, and they, can, they, they live their life that way. But you see the arrogant ones who claim they're the ones who even speak it out that I am self-confident. They're the ones who speak it out the most. When you look at this kind of people, you see that there is really something that they are trying to cover up for. They have done something, or they are not doing something right, or they, are, they have a shortcoming somewhere, and they are trying to cover up. And that's why you hear them say, I don't care what people say about me, I don't care what people think about me, I do me, I do this, I do that, I don't want to know, and so on and so forth. It is, it is terrible. It is such a turn off. Especially you, to you as a lady. Especially you as a lady. You know, people people get to like I, like I said in the previous video. You, there is there are no you don't have two uh, 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 you don't have two opportunities to make a first impression. No. Once people come close to you and they realize that you are this kind of personality, they realize that you're fighting people, everybody around you, or you feel like people are against you. They want to go away from you because you're bad energy. Your negative energy, your vibration is not good. The frequency at which you're operating is not is not conducive at all for positive people. Once you're like this, people are going to run away from you. As they come close to you, whether it's for friendship or for business or for whatever, once they realize this, they run away from you. So dear ladies, take this very seriously. First and foremost, take it off your mind that your friends are jealous of you or your friends don't want the best for you. Take it away from your mind that you don't care what people say or think about you. Because the truth is, you care. You don't, want to, you don't want to fool yourself because I already know, most people out there already know that people care about uh, what others think about them. Personally, I care a lot. I will not lie to you. I care what people think about me. And I think that if you care about what people think about you, you're going to find yourself, you're going to be a, a reasonable social animal. You're going to find that find that you behave more properly among people. You be you, you're going to realize that you you give yourself some some glory, you give yourself some honor because you know, okay, this thing I'm doing, I will not appreciate if someone does it to me. So you want to hold yourself back and become more responsible for your actions. You want to be more responsible for what you see. You don't want to be the kind of people who say I say the thing the way it comes, I say things the way the, the way it comes to me, I say it the way I see it. No, no, no. You are not an intentional woman. You're not an elegant woman when you behave this way. All right, ladies. So uh, this this thing just came to me and I said, I want to share with you. I've actually been thinking about it, but it's um, just today I said, I should share it with you all. And I hope you appreciate it. All right, ladies. As a woman, as an intentional woman already, you are beautiful. You are amazing. You are talented. You are wonderful. You are blessed. You have value. There's so much in you. You're, you're, you're just too good to start thinking that people are against you. You're just too good to be to be positive, to be negative. Okay. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. Just the way you are. Accept yourself and don't feel like people are against you. Or people are fighting you. And you're going to see that life is cool. You smile with everybody, but you keep your distance. You collaborate well with every everybody around you, and you see that life is good that way. All right, beautiful people, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some value from it. And uh, I'll be signing up on, for now. This is Glory for AKA is Incredible. The only MC, the only TV and radio presenter, the only voiceover artist of my time. They're just me alone in Duala, in Cameroon, in Africa, in the whole wide world. It's just me, okay? So um, thank you if you've watched this up to this level please please if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do well to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you always get to see when there's a new video i spread love mwah, mwah.